guys, it's Way here, and welcome back to another FIFA 17 trading video. Today, I'm going to bring you guys a very, very effective method, which works very well on pretty much any budget. You need maybe 5,000 coins or more to do this method, and it's guaranteed profit. It's so easy. Uh, probably the easiest method you can use on this game, because you're not even having to buy players. You're just opening bronze packs. It's that easy. You may have heard of it already, the bronze pack method. But a lot of people do videos on this and don't really explain just how well this method works because you don't just have to sell everything on there are quite a few other things you can do that will either save you coins or help you make some more coins uh, specifically revolving around the squad builder challenges and also some of the free contracts that you get in these packs now this is also going to really help you out with a method that i did uh, i think two days ago i'll leave an annotation in the top right hand corner of this video if you go and click on that it's the best way to make coins on FIFA 17 and this method will really help you out if you get some of those rarer players in the squad builder challenges like right now there are um, Sydney FC players that you need, and the minimum price for a bronze Sydney FC player is like 7.5k. So, what you want to do is head over to the pack section of Ultimate Team, go to bronze packs, 400 coins. You just want to open these 400 coins bronze packs. It is as easy as that. First pack, we get a silver player, which is not bad at all. So, we check this. Um, wow, this is actually a really good pack that we've managed to get first up. So, uh, I can sell this on for 200 coins. That is the lowest buy now for that. 200 coins there. Then we've got Wells. We've got Seri B player. Now, this is also going to sell on. This is just an, a really, really good pack. Seri B player, because of the score builder challenge, like I was talking about, these cards sell for a lot. 350 coins are lost by now, and um, I can sell that on at four. Now, I'll list up for 400 coin, no, 450, because there was one for 350 that had just been listed up. Next lowest is like 700. So I list that up there. Then we've got both of these player fitness cards. These go for 200 coins as well, so list them up. Right now, we're looking at, um, I think, 400 coins profit. Then we've got a knee healing card. And if you get one of the rare ones, they sold for an absolute ton. This is going for, right now, you get a lot more injuries on Ultimate Team. So these sell for quite a lot. I can sell this for 400 coins. So now, right now, we're looking at 800 coins profit from this pack. And then I'll send the contracts to the club. But then you never really need to buy contracts again, just because you have so many contracts from doing this. And then bronze player, you want to check if these cards sell, and if like this card here, they don't sell, send them to your club, and then you want to use them in the score builder challenges. A lot of people say to just quick sell them. Make sure you just send them to your club, same with the contracts, and then use them in the bronze upgrade score builder challenge. Turn them into silver cards, use those silver cards to get um, gold cards, and so on and so forth. Now next back here, what are we going to get? We get a bronze player who plays for Marseille. Going to be a decent card, I think. We'll sell for a bit. 500 coins, easy, easy bit of coins there. List him 400. I'll actually list him for a day, which is probably the best thing to do with players, just so you get a slightly better chance of selling them on. Now, you you should probably just check the price of these players. If there are more than about five for 200 coins, I wouldn't um, really bother listing them up. I just send that to my club right there. Use it in a squad builder challenge. 11 of those are bronze players can turn it into a silver player pack which will get me uh, one silver player that's rare and one that's non-rare. Uh, that card there, I can sell on for like 200 coins. Um, both of them, contracts, send them to the club and then list up this fitness card. So what you want to do is just sell on two, two items and you've made profit because then you just quick sell the pack. So you just need to sell on two items from the pack and you're making profit. Right here, we've been able to uh, get a couple of items in each pack that will sell on. So it should be a couple of 100 coins profit on each pack so far, which is very, very easy. And I mean, all you're doing is just opening packs. Right here, we get a uh, player who is an Italian. Should have probably just listed them up. Accidentally sent them to my transfer list. And I remember actually buying that card for 2.5k when the, um, like, uh, I think it was the Italy score builder challenge to get Del Piero came out. Uh, if this person could stop inviting me to a party, that would be good. But uh, this guy here, 200 coins. I'm actually going to send him to the club and keep him for the St. Paddy's Day tournament. Uh, he will sell on uh, during that for, for a couple hundred coins. Um, Hope here, not really going to sell. I can send him to the club as well as all of these contracts. Now, you can sell on these player contracts. The rare ones, they do sell on for 200 coins. But it will take you like a couple of days and a couple of listings to actually sell them on. So, it's up to you really. But uh, I'll just list up right now just for the sake of listing up. I will uh, go and check the price of that Italian player after this. Also, you just want to check if you, get, if you get any cool kits or cool badges, check the price of them as well. So, quicks or the rest, should be some decent profit on that pack. Now, I'm going to go and see what that Italian right winger sells for as well. So, here we go. We check Mancini's price. What is he selling for? 500 coins seems to be the lowest by now. There we go. 500 coins. 
he was going for like two and a half K when the tournament originally came out, and that was because there are very few left mids and uh, right mids on uh, FIFA who are Italian on Ultimate Team. So he was selling for a lot, but right now 400 coins covers the price of that pack, and I sold on a couple of items from it already there. So from each pack, I've made guaranteed profit. I've I've made coins back from each pack, and I mean all you're doing is just opening a pack and listing anyone up. It's not like a sniping method or something, which requires quite a lot of war. Like war, you need to, to have good reactions. You need to be good at actually sniping the cards. Next up, wow, does this guy play for? No, I thought you played for Universidad de Chile. If you get a player who plays for Universidad de Chile. A bronze card will sell for like 8k, and it is the same with the players who played for, um, uh, what is it, Sydney FC, I think. But I can sell this card here on for 500 coins. That's because there's a squad builder challenge right now that needs players from Chile. Uh, we also get a rare card. What is this going to sell on for? Um, he's got an alright card, I suppose. 200 coins, there aren't many listed up, so I can sell him on. That's already going to be a profit if I manage to sell everything else on. Um, this guy seems to want me to join a party. Liga Santander manager. 200 coins, easy. Spanish manager in the Liga Santander. Uh, loads of people want to buy those. Send the contracts to the club as well. Player fitness card, I can list that for 200 coins as well. But my transfer list is full. I will actually go and show you guys my transfer list. Just show you some of the things that will sell on. And a pace card will also sell on. That's pretty much the only uh, bronze attribute card. Other than the rare ones that do sell on. So that pack there, looking at like 400 coins profit. Really, really good pack. And quicks are the rest. And that's another couple of coins right there. So moving over to my transfer list, I'll just quickly show you guys right here some of the items you can expect to sell on. So right here, uh, these cards sell on. As you can see, we've got bronze players selling on, even just the non-rare ones. We've got these uh, healing cards. Got the silver card in one of these bronze packs. Smith, got him in a bronze pack as well. This guy here, Cabrera, got him in a bronze pack. And the reason he sells for a lot is because he is a Spanish centre-back who plays in a really obscure league. Um, as you see they're playing for Admira Wacker, I think that's like the Austrian league or something, uh, the Austrian Bundesliga, and uh, the reason those cards sell for a lot is for the hybrid nations challenges, where you need like 11 different leagues, and uh, people just use one nation, he's a really good player for that, BPL player as well, selling on, all these type of cards that you can see are selling on using this method there, a very very effective method, so I'm just going to actually clear all those, I'm going to open let's say 3 more packs, and just see, because so far I've made a good amount of profit from each pack. And I'm, you never know, you can get like an inform. You can get obviously one of those bronze players who plays for uh, one of the teams where there's a squad builder challenge for that team. If it's an obscure one, they will sell for a lot. Maybe if you get a non-rare Man City player, even they will sell on for like 3k right now because of the squad builder challenges. That guy there doesn't sell. Easy to send to the club. Then we've got this guy here. You just want to check the price of everyone. And if there are quite a few on the market for 200 coins, send them to the club. And even from like five packs, you're going to get enough players to then do one of the school builder challenges. So I'm getting plenty of cards I can use in that. Uh, right here, don't really think anything's going to sell on from this pack. Actually, the Portsmouth badge may sell on for a little bit. Um, 200 coins. I think that could sell on. Like, it would take a while, but could sell on. And there are also some quite cool um, badges and kits you can get. They'll sell for quite a lot. So that's the only pack we've not made profit on. Uh, we've just kind of made a like, 100 coin loss. Even if you get a terrible pack, you're not going to lose out on more than like 200 coins. This pack here, we get um, a player fitness card, so that's 400 coins. We get 100 coins, so obviously that's another 100 coins. Only need 100 more coins now to break even on this pack. So, I uh, just check the price of these players, and we should be able to, to maybe make some, may, maybe make profit on this pack, I'm not sure, but send that to the club. Going to be useful for a squad builder challenge. Uh, this guy here, he's got good pace, may sell for something, no he doesn't. Uh, again, score builder challenges, you can just use these cards, turn them into silver cards, use those silver cards, turn them into gold cards. And you can get some really, really good um, all player packs using that method there. Send the contracts to the club, not made uh, any profit really on these last two packs, broke even on that last pack. And the one before that made a slight loss, but you can then use the cards, even if you're making a loss, you can still use them in the score builder challenge, and you're still getting contracts. Which you can use this here. It's a great pack. Really, really good pack right here. Because all I, all I need to do, just list these for 200 coins. And uh, that's already just... It. With the two of these listed up, that is me breaking even on this pack. List this one here up. And that is going to be uh, more profit there. So that's me up to um, 100... Uh, no, 200 coins profit actually on that pack. Send those contracts to the club. And also these kind of... These bronze guys say that playing like obscure leagues will sometimes sell for something. 
if you get like a Spanish player, maybe a German player in a league which doesn't really have any other of those cards on the market, you can make some really, really good coins. Especially if you get like an English player who plays abroad, anything like that. But you do just want to check the prices of everyone. Send them to the club if there are a couple on the market for more than 200 coins. Um, because then you're not really good for, for less than 200 coins or, or for 200 coins rather, I should say. But here we go. Let's open one last pack. Let's try and make profit on this one here. We get a non-rare card. Non-rares are pretty good because it means you're going to get normally quite a few items you can sell on. Like in this pack here, uh, because we get a knee healing card. And as we saw earlier, they go for 400 coins. That's me making profit on the pack. Quick sell it. 100 coins profit. We get a uh, player training card right here. Uh, these go for uh, 200 coins there. So that's uh, a bit more profit. Uh, then we've got contracts. Send them to the club. We've got a Liga manager who is French. That's going to be a nice bit of profit too. Uh, that's 200 coins and should sell on pretty quickly. There aren't too many right there. Um, and also just check the price of these cards. They don't normally sell on, but they, they sometimes do. And obviously if they don't, as I keep saying, just use these in the squad builder challenges. And it's very, very easy. So let's just check this guy here. Again, not going to sell for anything, but that pack there, we made profit on. Quick sell the rest of that. And just to go even more in depth, because this is normally what I want to do for my trading methods. I want to... To go quite kind of in depth on the methods to, to help you guys out the most. All you want to do here is head over to the bronze upgrade. Start from scratch. And as you see, you need 40 chemistry minimum and you need a bronze team. So just go to bronze. Now that you've sent lots of items to your club, you're going to have a lot of them available here. So then just go right there. Put a bronze goalkeeper in. They don't even need to be in the right position normally. But just put uh, just this guy here in. If we've got a Korean player, that would be good just, just for the chemistry. Um, but uh, we don't, so that, that's fine, like you don't even need chemistry really, so just whack like some random card and put him in for example, then put another player in right here, see let's just put a low rated card in, it doesn't even matter, like if you've got everyone in the right position, you're going to um, to like uh, default, Just it doesn't really matter like if the player to get any links, you're just going to get uh, the chemistry because everyone gets four chemistry uh, in their default positions. Um, but uh, if you don't have like enough players in each position, I mean, I, I do right here because I've done this method quite a lot with the bronze back method. But I mean, as you see here, we've got a load of different bronze cards just in the club. Put them all in there. Already got 40 chemistry, so now I can just like put any bronze player I want in. So you just go down to the to the worst bronze players in your club, and um, you just want to want to put them in the scoreboard challenge. It's so easy. And let's just put these these really bad players in, so that that and that there and there you go we've got all the all the like requirements submit the squad we're going to get a silver players pack you can then do the silver upgrade once you've got enough of these silver cards uh so you get two from each pack obviously you can do the silver upgrade right here they'll get you three non-rare uh, gold players and then use them to get uh, one um two uh, gold player pack i think that's what it's called where you get two rare gold players they're really good people have been getting some great packs there but let's just open the silver pack to end the video that we do get from the uh, score builder challenge. As you see, you get one rare card, one non-rare. And that is our... Wow, I thought that was going to be a, uh, a player who played for Sydney FC. Because that would have been really good for the score builder challenge. But nevertheless, not too bad at all. Send that to the club. Use that in the silver upgrade. Very, very easy. So all you want to do, open 400 coin bronze packs. Sell on the rare fitness cards, the, the non-rare fitness cards. Healing cards, the rare ones go for like a thousand coins. Uh, check the player prices if they sell for uh, more than 200 coins. If there are maybe like five or less co uh, cards listed up to 200 coins even, you can sell them on. But you can get some really good cards. You can get informs as well that sell for a lot. You can get players who play uh, in a team that's got a really good squad builder challenge. For example, a Sydney FC player. Just check the Sydney FC player's prices quickly right now just to show you. If you haven't seen yesterday's video though, I would recommend checking out. It's a great way of making coins. But if we just quickly check here. Players who play for Sydney FC. This is going to be quite a long video. But I mean it's going to help you guys out. So uh, it's probably best to just go in depth on this. Just so you guys know exactly what to do. Because like, if you get a card like this. Here we go. Check out bronze players who play for this team here. They go for like an insane amount of coins. Like that. That's ridiculous. A player who, who, who just doesn't look good at all. Goes for like 7.5k. Seven, seven as the lowest by now. And yeah, yesterday's video kind of revolved around this and a sniping method to do with uh, getting these players from the score builder challenge. But you never know, if you get a card like that, 
And I actually managed to get one recently on one of these bronze packs, sold it for like 8k. You can make some really good coins. So, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did, really appreciate it if you could drop a like on the video. 50 likes would be awesome. And subscribe if you are new around here. I'll see you in my next video. Take care.